feeling I missed where I was supposed to turn because I've been driving over an hour on this little road and it didn't look like it should be that long of a drive for this section on the map so I'd better double check before I end up in nah, whatever that place is called Nevada GPS can't find me why isn't it loading up the GPS? <coughs> Damn it! Couldn't get the GPS on my iPhone to work. It just wouldn't activate the GPS. Despite how remote this area looks, I actually have full bars of 3G here. So Google Maps GPS can actually load maps here and it loads them really fast. But for some reason, the app wouldn't use the GPS, the phone's GPS. It just refused to activate the service. So I couldn't, you know, I could look up maps, but I couldn't figure out where I was on the map. So it was pretty useless, so I messed around with the phone, uh, did the classic IT fix of turning it off and on again, and uh, eventually got it to work, but it took me like 15 minutes of sitting on the side of the road jerking off with my freaking iPhone. Here's the freaking 5! Should be another 7 or 8 hours from here. Oregon! Something smells terrible. Something smells absolutely horrible. It smells like Tabasco and poop. I don't know what came over me, I just decided I had to stop at this vista point and see what sort of vista was visible. This is mostly just a higher vantage from which to view farmlands. The LA Aqueduct, that's just water flowing down a, a rivery type of thing. Goes towards Los Angeles down there, as you can see. And uh, this is the 5. That's all there is to that engine is running hot today it's a difficult day for a motorcycle engine oh maybe because i've been running it pretty pretty hard actually i've been uh, traveling at a high rate of speed you might say I just took the worst dump ever in a gas station bathroom on the side of the 5 freeway in the middle of nowhere.
right here. Ooh. I believe I lost a tire. Yep. Not ideal. Okay. Well, let's limp over to where the shade is at. That's not how I wanted to finish my trip. Oh, boy. Park it right there, I guess. This place saved my life. Well, not my life, but... Oh, here. Let me stop while I fix up my helmet strap to explain the situation a little bit. Uh, I got a flat on the 5. Uh, I was actually doing a high-speed run at the time. Uh, what I suspect happened is that, uh, well, I, I had a nail in the tire, and I suspect I picked the nail up a good long while ago, probably maybe even back in Napa where I was visiting my friend, and it was probably sitting there in the tire causing a slow leak for a, a good long time. And then when I did the, uh, my high speed run on the five, the centrifugal force of the tire spinning so fast caused uh, the nail to fly out, which turned the slow leak into a fast leak. And of course, when you've got a fast leak, uh, your tire goes flat pretty much immediately. So I was doing, by the time I noticed that something was wrong, my high speed run was already over. I was doing, well, I won't say exactly how fast I was going, but, uh, you know, I was going fairly quickly when the bike started to fishtail on me, and at first I thought maybe I had not torqued down the rear wheel properly because I did a chain adjustment just before I left for this trip, and I thought maybe, you know, the high-speed run and the stresses put on the bike from the high-speed run had caused the uh, improperly torqued rear wheel to start coming loose, but it turned out to be yeah, that there was a nail in the tire, and that the nail had flown out and left a big huge gap, a hole in the tire, through which all the air was escaping. So that properly sucked. Uh, luckily I didn't crash or anything, I had enough wits about me to stop the bike safely. But what an adventure! So, uh, luckily, actually, specifically thinking about this upcoming trip that I had been planning, this trip, uh, I signed up for AAA's uh, motorcycle coverage, which costs a little bit of extra money, but I'm glad I signed up for it because I had to be towed about 70 miles from where my uh, tire went flat the nearest shop that was open, which was in Bakersfield, and AAA towing, when you have AAA motorcycle towing, you can, they'll tow you up to 100 miles, and Bakersfield is the only city with a motorcycle shop in it within 100 miles, uh, especially, I mean, there are a few others, but they're all Harley shops and stuff that wouldn't have the correct type of tire, so... Uh, this one shop was open and had my tire in stock, but they closed at 5, and I got the flat at 2.30. Now, that sounds like plenty of time to go 100 miles, right? But the tow truck took an hour and a half to get to me, because dispatch called, like, the wrong towing service or something. I don't even know how that all happened. But they, the, the, the dispatch told me that it would be a half hour wait and I was like, I'll easily get a new tire today. And the tow truck didn't come for an hour and a half because they were like, yeah, uh, our trucks were all busy, but they still contacted our base of operations, our towing service, to come out and, and give you a tow instead of a service that's closer to where you were already at. So I didn't have a choice. I sat there and I waited an hour and a half. And so that meant by the time the tow truck got there, it was already 4 o'clock, and we had to go 70 miles before 5. And the shop over the phone wasn't being very cooperative. They had said, you know, we really, you 
know, we're closing at 5, I don't think we're going to have anybody still here by the time you get here, because, you know, we're, we're, I'm not going to ask my guys to stay here after work, you know, because, because you've got a flat, and I was like, well, I can understand how they feel, but that sucks for me, and so anyway, the tow truck driver said, okay, well, let's, let's just get there as fast as we can and see what we can do. So we started driving, and all along the way we were calling other shops to see if maybe one of them would, for goodness sake, please help us. Most of them weren't open, or, you know, the other, those that were open didn't have the, the right tire, so that was useless. But at about 10 till 5, we were about 10 minutes away from the shop, so I called the shop again and I begged them one last time. We're 10 minutes away. I know you guys close in 10 minutes, but if you don't help me out, I'm going to be stranded 100 and some, like 120 miles from home with, you know, nowhere to sleep or anything like that. And he said, well, okay, if you're going to be here right at 5, we'll help you. So I got it there. They helped me out. They got me the new tire. Thank goodness they had the right size and stock. And I'm on my way again. So big, big shout out to that tow truck driver. Uh, big shout out to the shop for staying open for me and keeping, you know, for the, to, for the tech for sticking around to help me out. And uh, yeah, for everybody for helping me get back on the road so that I can make it home tonight. A big shout out to Rogen X as well because when I was stranded on the side of the road, I texted him because I know he lives in the area and I asked him, do you, do you recommend any shops that might be open might have the tire I need and he recommended this shop. So, Roger X, thanks man, you saved me. You saved me from being stranded in Bakersfield, homeless for a night. Uh, let's try out the Iron Skillet restaurant and see if it's any good. <coughs> I feel like trying out someplace local. Doesn't look very busy. It's probably not the best sign in the world. Oh, dinner was good. Oh, finally be home in another couple of hours. Oh, it's been a hell of a day. God. I don't even have the spirit left in me to play the license plate game or anything. Can't wait to be lying down in bed. I think I'm gonna work on my book tonight. I worked on my book a bit during dinner. I took my laptop out to do a video dump because I've nearly filled it up tonight, filled up my video camera. So I stopped to copy all the video off to make space to continue recording for the rest of the ride and my laptop started a virus scan and I decided to just let it finish the scan while I found other stuff to do to relax, so I drank some coffee, worked on my book a little bit, did a little bit of reading, actually, of other people's books. I'm reading Brandon Sanderson's Elantris right now. Elantris, I don't know, however you say it. And I expected it to be good because Sanderson is lauded for his fantasy work, uh, and it is exceeding my expectations so far. I've been drawn in by the characters. The world is very interesting, the magic systems that they, you know, that these characters have to deal with, and the politics and the religion and everything, it's all very interesting. The story, the plot itself is also very uh, immersive, I guess. Well, no, the, the writing is immersive, the story is intriguing. I'm curious to know what will happen. The mystery elements of it are have drawn me in. So uh, I'm only about a third of the way in so far, but Brandon Sanderson's Elantris gets my thumbs up. Finally, some semblance of civilization. God damn it, I'm ready to be home. Should only be about a half hour away now, but fuck. What a day. Home sweet home. 
Oh, okay.